Hey guys, what is up? This is AJ170, and today, guys, I'm going to be showing you how to get NDS for iOS onto your iOS device. If you guys don't know what that is, it's a Nintendo DS emulator, guys, and uh, it is currently signed right now. Now, this, guys, this app, IPA is currently signed by Tutu, but the Tutu Native app has actually gotten revoked, but the apps inside of Tutu Native are actually still working. So what I've done is I've actually downloaded the IPA, exported it, uploaded it to Pidger, put a password on it and then so all of you guys can actually download it so before we start this video off guys can i get 170 likes also if you are new support the 170 and subscribe so so with that said let's go ahead and jump right into this video and i'm gonna go ahead and meet you over on my iphone guys Alright guys, here I'm over on my iPhone now. I'm going to go ahead and show you I'm not jailbroken. So as you can see, the PP app actually has a circle on it, meaning I'm not jailbroken. And if I open up Cydia, it is crashing. So first thing is first, guys, you're going to download this app right here. There will be a link to that inside of the description. Once you guys have that downloaded, then go ahead, open up Safari, and download NDS for iOS. So if I go ahead and reload this page, as you see, there's that little greenish button right there you guys are going to want to push. But for most of you, when you open up this web page, It'll ask, it'll ask you to input a password. You'll just see a little text box. Go ahead, tap that text box, and type in capital S-U-B, capital A, capital J, 170, sub to AJ170. It'll also be inside of the description right under the pigger link, just so you guys can actually get it. But uh, when you download a ROM, guys, you're going to open it inside of the zip app. Once you guys open it in the zip app, go ahead, hit yes on unzipping it, and then go ahead and wait for it to get done unzipping, however long that might take. Credit to uh, Devil Boy for actually showing me this on Twitter. I couldn't figure it out. Once you have the dot, uh, the actual .nds file, go ahead and zip that up, guys. So as you can see, I am zipping up the actual ROM to where it's only just the ROM inside of a zip file. Then go ahead, select Open In, and then go ahead and select NDS for iOS. And uh, I actually forgot to sign it, guys. So I'm going to have to go ahead and open up the settings and sign it. Took me a few seconds to figure that out. So go ahead, open up the settings, scroll down to general, scroll all the way down to profiles, device management, and then scroll all the way down from here to the tr uh, profile and hit trust on there. And then go ahead, hit the home button, guys, open it back up, and now let's actually go and select open in. Then let's select INDS again. And then here we guys go. As you see, it actually imported it to INDS successfully. So that I had to this the Devil Boy tested it and it does work on iOS 10. Now this does go for me. It works on almost at a constant rate of like 50 or higher FPS. But um, my AirPlay was screwing up with me when I tried playing the game. But that's gonna be basically just about it for this video, guys. This is AJ170 signing out. See you guys next time.